Oklahoma, here for morning prayer a little earlier than normal because I have to go pick up some retail for a local Christian food bank, Project 66. So I, as soon as I get done here, I'm gone out the door to go pick up all that food. So I want to say happy birthday to one person this morning, to Josh Overton. Josh, happy birthday to you. Here you go. There is a celebration. We're going to pray for you in just a minute. So at morning prayer, we're just working our way through the Trinity hymnal. And we are now at hymn number 246, Man of Sorrows, What a Name. It's a meditation on Jesus who bore our sorrows and in, his, in whose stripes we are healed. Man of sorrows, what a name for the Son of God who came, ruined sinners to reclaim. Hallelujah, what a Savior. Bearing shame and scoffing rude, in my place condemned he stood, sealed my pardon with his blood. Hallelujah, what a Savior. When he comes, our glorious King, all his ransomed home to bring, then anew this song will sing. Hallelujah, what a Savior. There you go. That was hymn 246. It was first, second, and fifth verse of that hymn. Now we're at our Bible reading. We're just reading our way through the gospel according to Luke. We are now at Luke 8, starting at verse 22 through 39. And listen to how Jesus calms the stormy sea and the stormy soul. Ha <laughs> ha. One day he got into a boat with his disciples and he said to them, let us go across to the other side of the lake. So they set out and as they sailed, he fell asleep and a windstorm came down on the lake and they were filling with water and were in danger. And they went and woke him saying, Master, Master, we're perishing. And he awoke and rebuked the wind and the raging waves and they ceased and there was a calm. And he said to them, where is your faith? And they were afraid, and they marveled, saying to one another, Who then is this that he commands even winds and water? And they obey him. Then they sailed to the country of the Gerasenes, which is opposite Galilee. And when Jesus had stepped out on land, there met him a man from the city who had demons for a long time. He had worn no clothes, and he had not lived in a house but among the tombs. And when he saw Jesus, he cried out, and fell down before him, and he said with a loud voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I beg you, do not torment me. For Jesus had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For many a time it had seized him. He was kept under guard and bound with chains and shackles, but he would break the bonds and be driven by the demon into the desert. Jesus then asked him, What is your name? And he said, Legion. For many demons had entered him, and they begged him not to command them to depart into the abyss. Now a large herd of pigs was feeding there on the hillside, and they begged him to let them enter these, so he gave them permission. Then the demons came out of the man and entered the pigs, and the herd rushed down the steep bank into the lake and drowned. And when the herdsmen saw what had happened, they fled and told in the city and in the country. Then people went out to see what had happened, and they came to Jesus and found the man from whom the demons had gone, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed, and in his right mind. That Greek word is sophroneo. It means sober-minded. And they were afraid. And those who had been had seen it told them how the demon-possessed man had been healed. Then all the people of the surrounding country of the Gerasenes asked him to depart from them, for they were seized with great fear. So he got into the boat and returned. The man from whom the demons had gone begged that he might be with him. But Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to your home and declare how much God has done for you. And he went away, proclaiming throughout the whole city how much Jesus had done for him. That was Luke chapter 8 verses 22 through 39. It's one of my favorite sets of stories. In fact, uh, one day here shortly, I hope, please Lord, I'll have a book published that starts out with this story, these two stories. How Jesus comes and calms the stormy sea and he liberates and calms the stormy soul. So much to be encouraged about in these two stories. Well, let's pray. Lord God, we come to you this morning giving you thanks and rejoicing in Josh's, Josh Overton's birthday. We pray that you would bless him, that as he 
looks over his life in the past, he would see how your hand has been with him, how you have given him the gift of life day by day, and he would it would settle his heart and strengthen him and fill him with joy. And I pray for this day of his birthday that he would celebrate knowing that you are God in heaven and yet you care about him and that that would fill his heart. I pray for this coming year that Josh would find himself growing rich and 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 strong in the wisdom that is from above, which is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Lord, as we read these two stories, how encouraging. Lord, help us, help us, that we would be a people who are a calm people, calmed by you, Lord Jesus, you who can speak the word and calm the stormy sea, you who can speak the word and calm the stormy soul. May we be known as those who are, who are calm and seated and clothed and in our right mind, sober-minded, Lord. Lord, we pray that you would be with um, our church heritage. We pray that you would continue to bless us with growth. I'm so delighted about the new members class and how many people are coming. Uh, continue, Lord, to fill us up uh, with more people who gather around the feet of Jesus and want to know about Christ and want to walk with Jesus as their Lord and Savior. We pray for our friends, Neil and Kim. I thank you so much for their personal cur encouragement to me and just how uh, they thrill my, hearts and, and thrill my heart. And I pray that you would enrich them and bless them. I pray for our dear friend Scranton, that you would watch over him, especially as he goes through his treatments uh, when that begins to happen and that he would recover quickly be with Beverly and watch over her, continue to preserve her and protect her. We pray for our friend Debbie, that you'd be with her and her husband and her mother, where she, especially she cares for her mother. We ask you to help her through all of this and give her, uh, give her hope and give her joy and in the midst of what she's doing. Lord God, we pray with Compassion International, we pray that you would comfort, bring comfort and peace to the family of Albert in Ghana as they grieve and mourn his passing, Lord. That you who, you, you who know what it is to lose someone you love in death, Lord, that you would be the God of the comfort and mercy to them, that they may be strengthened and helped. Lord, we pray for an army chaplain, Chul Kim, uh, who's at Fort Shafter, Shafter. We ask you to be with him as he begins to train to Korea. We ask you to watch over him, that the transition would go well. We pray for his wife, Crystal, that you would watch over her too, and that their transition would be easy and uh, peaceful, and that when he moves into his new ministry, that you would bless him and enrich him in it. Lord, we pray this day, this is the day 10 years ago when Sudan, South Sudan, became a separate country. After all of the warring and civil war and fighting and all the decimation, it finally became its own country. And yet, Lord, it didn't fix things. South Sudan still struggling with the with, uh, civil war. Uh, we pray that you'd be with the president, Salva Mayardit, and Rik Mahar, Mekh um, that you would help them, Lord, to know what the right things to do are, and that they would do it. We pray for that country, that you would bring peace where there is no hope of peace, that you would bring economic recovery, that you would, uh, that you would make South Sudan a, a, a beautiful place, um, for its people, Lord. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for how you have watched over us through this last week. We pray, Lord, that um, you would strengthen and encourage us this day, that we may walk with you all this day um, with cheerfulness of heart, with um, soundness of mind, with uh, fullness of faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you go, friends. That was morning prayer for Friday, the 9th of July. And uh, I'll be back, Lord willing, on Monday to pick up where we are. Uh, we have uh, morning services on Sunday. We have, right now I'm doing a new members class at 9.30. And then at 10.45, we're having our worship service. And we'll also be doing it live stream. Until next time, receive the Lord's peace from these words at the end of Ephesians. Peace be to the brothers and love with faith from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all who love our Lord Jesus Christ with love incorruptible. Amen.